Here you are watching Fox News. A major earthquake has hit the east coast from from Virginia, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, New York, Canada, Michigan, Illinois, Indianapolis, excuse me, Indiana. Thank you, David Lee, and I want to clarify that the lower third we have in our air is, is outdated, I mean that the earthquake's been felt up and down the East Coast again. The latest reports say as That's far south New York Georgia, City, I believe. Uh, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Times DC, Square. Virginia, where it struck, obviously, Maryland, and so on. This so happened we'll earlier those, uh, today. Those, that list of states. I live here in, uh, again, oh, not, not now i got New Jersey sure feeling it. The airports here in New York City, but they I live here in Wisconsin. National down, I did not feel it. Washington, uh, a I have We are now told that the flight will be on hold there. Uh, ceiling tiles fell to the floor after a few I'm seconds to, of shaking there. The authorities in MSNBC real quick. They're covering the story too. Of this afternoon's earthquake in Virginia. I've spoken with our police and fire commissioners, and we've activated the Office of Emergency Management Situation Room and spoken to other city agencies, including the Department of Building. Today is Thankfully, there are no reports of significant damage Tuesday, or injury in New York City at this time. Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Major earthquake has hit only in the, case the of East Coast. Emergency. So that is part of the statement from the mayor of New All York City, states Michael here. Bloomberg. Plus we more not, not listed. Manhattan have been evacuated. Folks are being let back in. But Pete, I'm sure to more, your point, a lot of the information that we're getting more details will come in here as soon as possible. And, and the issues uh, of checking out the soundness of bridges, tunnels, and making sure the airport and buildings and structures are okay. But so far, we're not hearing any. I'm turning to a weather channel. They, there, I believe they're, they're covering the story uh, too. Nothing more than that, Pete. Uh, well, they were. Actually, the I'll go to CNN. In Washington. There's Washington, D.C. right there. The first there were at least two separate tremors that I felt. The first one did feel like an earthquake. After that, we got the second round that was much more serious. On a MSNBC. Uh, a can of coffee, I guess. A, a, a one pound can of coffee came off of the Supreme Court, not during an earthquake, but just one day when the court was open, and crashed down to the marble steps below. And that wow. caused a lot of concern about the condition of some of these marble buildings here, so I'm sure there'll be a lot of looking at that going on, Tamron. Yeah, absolutely. Going to Fox well, News, news now. We were oh, Shepard Smith. Megan, thanks, and, and good afternoon from New York. Uh, the East Coast appears to be, for reasons unknown, in a bit of a freakout mode, and, and, and that's a mistake. Here are the facts. Got some states right An there. An unusual event has happened on the East Coast in that there's been a larger than normal earthquake. We don't have a single report of significant damage. We have zero reports in the entirety of the United States of a single, of, of a single injury. What appears to have happened is buildings have shaked up and down the East Coast, and as a result, through an abundance of caution, people who run these buildings and these facilities are now going to check them. And while they check them, people are asked not to be in them. So the collective best thing to do is realize cell phone service is crashing because too many people are on the phones. So if you don't have an emergency, the emergency managers at some point very soon will come forward to ask us to not use the phones unless you need to. And all of this, people evacuating in the pictures, seems to be ratcheting up a sense of panic that is completely unnecessary and absolutely counterproductive. Again, for some context and perspective, there was an earthquake in Virginia less than an hour ago. Some buildings shook, it scared some people, and it's over. Could there be aftershocks? There could. We, in a Twitter, Facebook world, we have no pictures of any damage anywhere. That's not to say we won't get some. But I think the important thing to remember right now is there is no cause for panic. Uh, maybe bridges are closed. Maybe your building is evacuating. And out of an abundance of caution, that's all that I'm is. going to MSNBC to now. This sort of thing happening. So My colleague Andrea Mitchell was at our uh, D.C. headquarters, and she joins us now. Andrea, good afternoon. I understand you were right there when the earthquake tremors were felt. 
Uh, we were on the air, Martin, and uh, you know the show must go on, but when they come running in and telling you, get out, it's an earthquake, you stop in mid-sentence, and we just left the studio. Everything was shaking. It sounded like a freight train was going through. The papers were going up and down. And I didn't know what was happening. I really didn't register on me because those of us on the East Coast this aren't is a major event. with earthquakes. I hope and everyone the cameras were rocking up and down. Affected now, by this is know, okay. A, a glass table of the desk that we anchor the, the shows from right there where Hardball and all of our other shows, Morning Joe when it's here in town and my show every day and Chuck Todd's show, The Daily Rundown. So we're all so I'm checking with the weather channel. They were covering this too. I hope we got TV something now. Not gonna lie, I think it's cool we all felt that earthquake. Lots of people talking about that as the first uh, earthquake. Hurricane Irene also happening. In DC. No cell down there in the south. 5.9 earthquake, so that's just a couple Southern of examples Coast, of the amount of tweets coming in. You can zoom in on your neck of the woods by going to weather.com slash social. Back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, Mark. And heard the loudspeakers about 20 minutes ago saying, or 20, 20 go to CNN. Saying that uh, they should still stay. Was it a bomb? Is it the train? I, I probably was mixed emotion, but me personally, I, I really and truly thought it was some kind of bomb because I never felt nothing like that before in Washington in regards to an earthquake. So it definitely caught me by surprise, and when I found out that it was an earthquake, I was a little more relieved that it wasn't nothing in regards so to some kind of once know, again, uh, today is or anything like that. Tuesday, Correct, August 23rd, a lot of us had, uh, 2011. It could be a terrorist attack or, or, an or anything like earthquake else. has hit the East did you Coast. It was an earthquake? When I got I'm going to sign that, off now. I came up there but Wishing that everyone is okay, no damage, okay, no injuries, an no death. So you all take care. You all have a nice day. You know, Bye.